Hi everybody and welcome back to Hex Token Channel. In this video we're going to look at uh, Ledger Nano. You may have uh, just received one in the mail after ordering it. If you haven't, of course, you can use uh, the referral link in the video description below. And of course, you can grab yourself a Ledger Nano by ordering it with the link. And of course, uh, let's get straight into it. So let's assume you've done that. Of course, you want to set up your security. Uh, first time using your Nano S, you need to download uh, Ledger Live, of course, uh, off the website. So I'll leave the link to that as well. You can download this application and then set up your Ledger Nano. So it's going to be pretty easy. So we've got uh, first use, set up your Ledger, new Ledger Nano S. Let's start and set up your device. So we're going to click on the top run here. Obviously, there's other alternatives there as well. But we're setting up a new Ledger Nano. We're going to hit that. Access your crypto. Your crypto assets are stored on the blockchain. You need a private key to access and manage them. That's the big thing. So you need a private key there. That's what you're after. At crypto assets are stored on the blockchain. So remember that. Uh, next one, your, you own your private key. And this is the basics. Your private key is stored on your Nano. Uh, so remember that your private key is stored on your Nano. You must be the only one to own it to be in control of your money. So your little Nano device has got your private key that is kind of the key to the bank vault. Uh, you are your own bank. You control it. You're the bank manager. Uh, so you control the key to that vault. Very important. Now remember the crypto is on the blockchain, not on the Nano. Let's move forward to the next one. Stay offline. Your Nano works as a cold storage wallet. That's what it's called, cold storage wallet. This means that it never exposes your private keys online, even when using the app. So just remember that, uh, that it is protected. Your private key is protected. Let's go on to the next one. Validate transactions. Ledger, li li Ledger Live, which is what we're using at the moment, allows you to buy, sell, and manage exchange and earn crypto while remaining protected. So very, very important there. So Ledger Live, uh, which you've downloaded from the website, allows you to buy, sell, manage, and exchange and earn crypto while remaining protected. You will validate every crypto transaction with your Nano because it's got the private key on there. Uh, so that's how you're going to control that. So very, very powerful device. Uh, let's set up your Nano. So let's get into it. That was the basics. We'll start by setting up your Nano securely. Uh, let's do this. So you're just going to click on that. The best way to get you started, plan 30 minutes and take your time grab a pen to write with and of course stay alone and choose a safe and quiet environment remember that so you can now click ok so we've got the process up here get started pin code recovery phrase uh, hide, rec uh, hide recovery phrase and connect nano that's very important you can also go back to the previous steps there as well so here we are on ledger live we're going to go to the next one okay i'm ready i'm going to click that be careful Make sure you follow the instructions on this app at every step of the process. Remember, uh, Nano is kind of like you're your own bank and you need to be a good bank manager. So let's go. Got it. We're going to click on here further. So turn on your Nano. So we've got a picture of the Nano up here. You need to turn your Nano on. You need to have it connected. So turn your Nano on. Connect your device to your computer with the USB, D, USB cable. You can see the USB cable there. And, of course, your Nano device, of course, get started. Of course, there we go. Number two, browse, learn how to interact with your device by reading your on-screen instructions. And number three, select set up as a new device. Uh, press both buttons simultaneously to validate the selection. And of course, follow uh, instructions. Come back here to follow instructions on your PIN code. All right, so we're going to click next step there. And bam, there we are. So PIN code there. Your PIN code is the first layer of security. It physically secures access to your private key and your nano. Your pin must be four to eight digits long. So you've got, you've done get started. You've done up the pin code there. Uh, once you've done that, you can click I understand that I must choose my pin code myself and keep it private. So remember, you are your own bank manager there. Uh, your pin code is the first layer of security that physically secures access to your private key and your nano device. Your pin code must be four to eight digits long. Uh, so set that up, set up the pin code. That's the next step. You can see here, you can use the two buttons on the top. You can put your PIN code in there. So choose a PIN code. Press the left or right button to change the digit. So left or right at the top of the Nano. Uh, press both buttons to validate a digit. Select the tick but, but button there to confirm your a PIN code. And select the X button to raise a digit. So remember that tick button and the, click, the, uh, the uh, X button there to raise a digit if you want to go through. Confirm the PIN code. So your PIN code in the dice. Uh, and then enter your pin code again to confirm it. So uh, you're pretty used to doing that. Then click next step, a recovery phrase. So now we're up to the third step here. Recovery phrase, your recovery phrase is a secret list of 24 words that backs up your private keys. All right, so you've got private keys. Those 24 words are fundamental. They're the most important thing. 
to keep secure. And Nano generates a unique recovery phrase. Ledger does not keep a copy of it, okay? So this is going to be generated uniquely. If your package comes with some 24 seed roots, ignore that passage that has been compromised. Uh, the Nano generates a unique recovery phrase. Uh, of course, Ledger does not keep a copy of it. Uh, click, I understand that if I lose this recovery phrase, I will not be able to access my crypto in, in case I, I lose access to my Nano. Just remember that. So uh, you got to keep this. You got to keep your Nano and the key, key keywords there. Very important. So we're going to click a recovery phrase. I'm going to jump over to there. Take your recovery sheet. Of course, there's a recovery sheet here. Uh, you can see the 24 words there. You have to write them all down. Grab a blank recovery sheet. Include include with your Nano. Please reach out to Ledger support if the recovery sheet did not come blank. All right, so it must come blank. Write down 24 words. Write word number one displayed on your, your Nano in position one of your recovery sheet. Then press, the, press right on your Nano to display word number two and write it down in position two. So you see position one, position two. Repeat the process for all words while carefully respecting the order. That's fundamental and spelling. So you need the order and spelling has to be 100%. Uh, press left on your Nano to check for mistakes. All right, so you can press the left on your Nano button uh, to do that. So once you've done that, uh, write that down. Away you go. Number, uh, we're still in recovery, recovery phrase here. Confirm your recovery phrase, all right? So you can click the buttons to do that. Confirm your words. There we go. Scroll through the words until you find word number one by pressing the right button. Validate by pressing both buttons. You have to push both buttons uh, to validate. Repeat for all words. You must repeat that validation for all words uh, with the using both buttons. So remember that. Then click on to next. And of course, we're up to step four here of five, hide recovery phrase. Hide your recovery phrase. Your recovery phrase is your last chance to access your crypto if you cannot use your Nano. Remember that. You must keep it in a safe place. Uh, enter these words on a hard wallet only, uh, not on computers or smartphones. Anything you put your 24 C phrases on digitally uh, is potentially compromised, right? So in other words, uh, if your computer ever get hacked or anything like that, uh, they potentially find those 24 words. They can uh, use those to uh, get access to your wallet. Uh, never share your 24 words with anybody, not even with Ledger, the official foundation. Uh, learn how to hide it there. You can click on that if you want to. Now, okay, I'm done. So on that level four there, now game on. Answer three simple questions to avoid common misconceptions about your hardware wallet. Let's take the quiz and let's do it. So you should do this yourself. As a Ledger user, my crypto is stored on my Nano on the blockchain. Well, we know that the crypto is on the blockchain. So that's cool because the Ledger only has the private key there. And to do that, congrats, your crypto is always stored on the blockchain. Your hardware wallet only holds your private key, which gives you access to your crypto. Great, we got that right. If my recovery phrase is no longer secure or private, no problem, Ledger can send me a copy. My crypto is no longer safe and I need to transfer them to a secure place. Well, we know that if your recovery phrase is no longer secure, that's a bad thing. So uh, Ledger can't give it to you, they don't get a copy. So you need to click the next one there. It's no longer safe. So you're in trouble there. Congrats. Anyone knows your recovery phrase can steal your crypto assets. If you lose it, you must quickly transfer your crypto to a secure place. Next question. When I connect my Nano to the Ledger app, my private key is still offline and briefly connected to the internet. Well, it's not briefly connected to the internet. Uh, it is still offline. So your private key is still offline when you connect your Nano to the Ledger app. So we're going to click offline. Congrats. Your privacy, private key always remains offline in your hardware wallet. Even when connected to your Nano, the Ledger app cannot access your private key. You must physically authorize every transaction on your device. I love it. Finish quiz, quiz there. Already a pro, you're ready to safely manage your crypto. Only one step left. Let's click next. And of course, a genuine check. We'll verify it whether your Nano is genuine. This should be a quick and easy check there. Click the check button. Check my Nano. Connect and unlock your device and away you go. So that's where you should get up to there. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick update there. So you've got your new Ledger Nano. If you haven't got one, use the referral link in the video description to get your Ledger Nano. And of course, also to download Ledger Live there as well. Uh, and you can confirm that and finish all these five steps. Get started, pin code, recovery phrase, hide recovery phrase and connect Nano and away you go. Hope you enjoyed the quick video. I will catch you next one and bye for now.